Hey guys, what if I told you you can win a brand new Subaru XB just by holding on to it for as long as you can? Can you do it? Well, I know these people can. It is MediaCorp Subaru Car Challenge 2015 in Singapore. 400 contestants from neighbouring countries, including 10 from Malaysia. It is a challenge of physical and mental stamina. The last man or women standing will win a brand new Subaru XV with, for the first time ever, COE. Let's find out some tips on how to win this challenge from previous year's winners. So Mr Jai, can you tell us what's the secret? Any advice for the contestants? Yeah, advice is just lock your mind into your car. Just think of winning the car, nothing else. You must think you are the best. No one is better. So when you are standing there, you are going for the car. That is a mindset that you must have. Everyone is going to be as tired as you are after the 50 hours. Just keep going, keep telling yourself you are aiming for the next hour. Just keep going and ultimately you will win the car. The challenge started in 2002, so this is the 14th year we've been doing it. Subaru customers are different, Subaru is a different brand, we, we want to uh, stand out, so we thought, why not make people work for it and you know, do a different way. And it's a fairer way, right? The, the, it's all about endurance, Subaru is also about endurance, our brand is about endurance, you know, and I think that uh, doing a contest like this also shows that whoever so-called exemplifies the, the, the meaning of Subaru wins, because that's the kind of person similar to the kind of car that we are, so I think that has a lot of uh, synergy. How do you feel now bro? Awesome. Good, so far. <laughs> Very hot and sweaty. I'm looking forward to go beyond 48 hours. What's your secret weapon now, tactic? Secret weapon now? I think it's conserving energy lah at the beginning. Try to stay awake for now. Stay calm and conserve your energy. Remember, remember, remember. 60 hours is our minimum mark of appreciation, okay? Meet that, then think about the next 15 hours or 20 hours. Stay strong, keep talking to each other, keep everyone stay awake. Good luck. Malaysia boleh. <laughs> Contestants will only get a 5 minute break in every 6 hours. During that time, they get to eat, go for toilet breaks and even get quick massages from paramedics. One family member will be allowed to enter the arena only during the 7pm break. So guess what, it's been 7 hours since the beginning from 1pm today and everyone is doing well except that 27 people have uh, dropped out from the challenge. Uh, the first break has just passed and they are doing okay I guess. All the 10 contestants from Malaysia are still there and yeah, they are doing very well so wish them all the best. So this is day two of Subaru Car Challenge and it's 1.30 a.m. in the morning. It's been 12 and a half hours and these guys are still doing quite well. For what I get it, 97 of them have dropped out so there are 203 of them left. All Malaysian contestants are still around, all 10 of them, and they're doing very well, really proud of them. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen uh, later in the morning.
day two of Subaru Car Challenge and it has been 31 hours and good news, all Malaysians are still in the challenge. Let's go find out how they're doing. How are you feeling? Uh, doing awesome, awesome. I'm really proud of you guys man, really good. You feeling good? 31 hours bro. Send another 30. Alright. Uh, still have my reserve. More to go, more to go. Strong, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we are here day two of the Subaru Fall Challenge. As you can see, the conversation is getting really intense. And it has been 31 hours now, there's still lots of people left. Yeah, and I want to say good luck to everyone, and I really hope everybody is okay. So let's see tomorrow. Let's see tomorrow. Night. Okay, quick update there are 107 contestants left on the third day at 1 a.m. in the morning in Singapore. It's already 36 hours and these guys, all 107 of them are still holding strong. And guess what? All 10 Malaysian contestants are still in the challenge. I really, really, really respect all of them. They are really good at what they're doing. So we are here to give them all the support that we can. Uh, we wish them all the best. Malaysia! Contestants are starting to feel exhausted after 36 hours without sleep and proper meal. That's when hallucination starts to take over and dropout rate increases drastically, including some of our Malaysian participants. When I was putting the hand on the car, I cannot see anyone. I only can hear a voice. So, yeah, they were shouting at me, they were calling my name, and then I was, I was on and off. I was, I was here. And then suddenly, a few seconds, I was nowhere really. Go for the last leg! Make it easy, I told you! It's day 3 of Subaru Car Challenge. It's 7pm right now. It's been 54 hours since it started. About 30 contestants left. 3 from Malaysia are still around and they are still battling out to win the Subaru XV and of course they are also in the standing to win the best team, the country winner. The Filipinos are still around, the three of them still, so it's three Filipinos, three Malaysians, they are in the run to win the country team winner which is $10,006 cash prize. Now let's talk to some of the Malaysian contestants who have just dropped out. Um, the last few minutes when I got before I knocked out, I was uh, in everything. My brain cannot function at all uh, what I'm doing. So I really uh, get KO, uh, can sit totally KO. I have to babysit Benny for a while there because he's already starting to hallucinate. He's starting to uh, do a lot of things, talk talking about things that is not senseless and start to like sucking his fingers and uh, that's it's quite normal when you're hallucinating. You have to balance between your mind and your palm on the car and your mind keep telling you uh, so many things to quit. It's like your mind is shutting down so it's an experience that you can never get it anywhere. Uh, I try my best just that my leg gets swollen so that's why I cannot get to continue. Uh, some of my teammates is still inside the game. I just say, uh, you all can do it. Ten contestants from the beginning, now two left. So, what do you think? Are they gonna make it? I believe it's still possible. So we have to really, really still continue to cheer them on so that they can last. At least maybe until another 18 drops out, then yeah, we can maintain that. So that's important. But, Still, we want a room for original contestants, so fingers crossed. So this is day four of the Subaru Car Challenge 
and it has been 72 grueling hours and we have one and only Malaysians left that's Han Hong Shen in 2014 second runner-up he's holding on quite well so we are here to give him all the support that we can and we wish him all the best and also the Malaysian team is in the running to win the country uh, team winner which is $10,000 cash that's a lot of money yo this year is a bit special you see that there's a canopy and with a canopy and without a canopy is something different now because uh, with the canopy it's like uh, airflow is, is is around that area so it's quite hard also well of course the, the sun play a big factor uh, this time is a bit humid uh, we with the canopy because of the air ventilation and all but but overall it's, it's almost the same it's just basically the mental that you have to go through i had a tough hallucination for a couple of hours and it beat me this time but i think next time i should go back when I go back, I should find a solution to it and then next time I'll come stronger. Actually this year compared to previous year, and this year's hallucination was crazy. It went on for a few hours actually. I started seeing my palm turning into like burger patty and all that eh? because I was hungry and all. Prawn. Fried prawn. Each of my finger is a prawn. I actually have a flash of fried chicken. I like chicken for us. I, I went to like uh, two different worlds. One world is about Tane and Sakivir trying to call me back into the competition. And another side, I feel that I am uh, somewhere else. People trying to call me and join them for a party, something like that. Yeah, definitely the haze tent helped me a lot. Uh, yes, uh, it could keep me focused up to 60 hours. But after 60 hours, uh, haze tent doesn't help me anymore. You know this string here on my uh, on my wrist. This is a string tied by my two sons and my wife. I told them I will do my very best. And this keep me going also. Because once you're mentally down, you can't be thinking about them. It's only what you have on your body. Uh, for time, um, stay strong, focus on the car. It's already in front of you, you're gonna win it for sure. You have gone through more than that. This is your day, this is your year. Bring it home to Malaysia. Do it this time and no need to come back. Just bring back the car. That's it, and win it. There are only three contestants left. One of them is 2014 second runner-up Tan Hong Shen from Malaysia. Not long after that, Singaporean Yip Yu Wai dropped out, taking third place. I, 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 I know I lost the competition, but I don't know why I lost it. Because I wake up, I don't know, I just see everybody around. Well. Ask me to play this game, no instructions. Ask me to do here, move there. Actually, I do it better than myself, but I don't know. I think maybe I never think of the wrong. So you accidentally move your hand? I don't know, I think so, I don't know. I did it all, you, 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 you did very well bro, you did, you did very well. Okay, but I, I could have done better. After 78 grueling hours, Tan Hongshen of Malaysia finally gave in and settled for second place. Phu Khun from Vietnam is the last man standing, driving home a brand new Subaru XB. Every day I uh, practice a lot to, uh, um, to uh, get a good health, get a good physique and then uh, because for this challenge the mental is very important so I practice for that to be patient plus I join other um, challenges like Sasuke so that will help me to be strong and patient as well. Even though um, my uh, friends all drop out, but I have the target to bring the bright to Vietnam team. That's why that's the target I want uh, that keep me to stand very long. Even though uh, another competitor is Dong Hong Sen from uh, Malaysia, which is very strong, 
but that target makes me strong and believe that I can pass it. I start to uh, getting hallucinations, so that's uh, the main reason. I keep on uh, searching myself. Just stay there like a stone for two hours. So after that, uh, I just realized uh, I went totally blank at that. Moment. Just put totally blank. Was that like the last moment before you? Yeah, yeah. Because, so you you let go your palm or? No, I didn't let go of the palm. I still uh, wake up and my 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 hands still on the. On the palm. Uh, I just suddenly. I, the last uh, I recall is morning. Why when I woke up the time is afternoon? Afternoon already. I would like to say thank you to them. Uh, they are all my brother, we support each other. Uh, even though I'm alone uh, on the farm challenge, midnight they still come and support me to make sure I still survive. To give, give me more spirit power to, to get more further endurance. The Malaysian contingent managed their first country team winner title, taking home 10,000 Sing dollar cash. Well done and see you guys next year. If you like our video, do give us a thumbs up and follow us on our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below.